Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John, come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, oh, colder cave down that way. <laughs> yeah. I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. Hey, sir. You there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you 24-7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes. Uh, sir, I was... You know when I was young? We used to explore caves like these. Looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes. Thousands of years old. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathen. In the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Uh, Colonel, Colonel, I, I was... The soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismiss, Corporal. Okay, this pretty much looks like a marsh. Let's go look. Some more. More hemlock, more hemlock. Need more hemlock. Okay, just a few more. I gotta find more. That should do it. Deer crossing. It's not too s A short while ago, I stood here before you and grieved for the loss of Captain Jimenez, our only doctor and my very dear friend. And for what great purpose did Captain Jimenez perish? So that a drug addict, a worthless excuse of a human being, could get high. Jimenez died because he stood between a junkie and a bag full of narcotics. Yeah. I have taken steps to see that this never happens again. For their own safety, I have moved Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver into the Ark, where they will be under protective watch 24 hours a day. The call is going out. 
Any person who has highly trained knowledge and skills, skills that cannot be replaced, mechanics, engineers, scientists, medical personnel, are to be taken from active duty and removed to the Ark until this war is over. From now on, no one is allowed entrance into the Ark unless they are on special assignment and unless they are personally vetted by myself. There will be no exceptions. I am beginning to see, I'm afraid, that our enemy has never been the freaks. They know not what they do. Mankind, in all his state of degradation and transgression, is our true enemy. Keep a watchful eye on your neighbors. Evil surrounds us. Company dismissed. Right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain, but the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here, okay? Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. As you were. So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks, are mutating. Some faster than others. Uh-huh. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them, so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> Brian, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? Eh, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Grateful, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it out. O'Brien, how many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, out. O'Brien, oh, so while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty or the lack of it affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle the rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the 
virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah, and that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. Yeah, well, I probably would say John out. saw what hit him. Well, Brian, I, uh, I reached your guy and, uh, yeah, he's dead. ID says G. Hernandez. How did it happen? I'm not a coroner, O'Brien. How the hell do I know? Something tore him apart. Uh, this freak I'm tracking, is there something you haven't told me? ID says his name was H.S. Patterson. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. You didn't ask, O'Brien. Didn't ask what? If he was alive or dead. His radio's been dead for 12 hours. All their radios have been dead for 12 hours. I don't need to ask. Thank you for doing this. O'Brien out. Another flare. There, there's the last one. How am I gonna get to him? Down there, maybe. What the hell hit you? You didn't even see it coming. O'Brien, oh, I uh, found another one. ID says his name was Robinson. Okay. Thanks. I'll let his family know. So, you guys have, uh, families. Managed to get them all out while shit was going down? It doesn't look. O'Brien, oh, I found your last man. ID reads Cooper. Copy that. Oh, Jesus. Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here, right now. Cooper! Cooper, come in! Sorry, shoot. Move south. Team's down. Come on. Oh, Jesus. What's going on, Deacon? Cooper! His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No! No, no. Unless he's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Hey. Let me talk to Jen. Get Jen in here, now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? It was so fast. Didn't see it coming. Are you tell me that a freak did all of this. Reacher. Reacher. Cooper! Cooper! Are you there? Jen? I'm here. I can hear you. I can't you. believe it. I thought I'd never hear you more. Listen to me. We're gonna get you out of here. Do you hear me? Cooper! Cooper! Jen. I'm so glad. Here.
So what the hell am I dealing with here, O'Brien? Talk to me. <laughs> the guys at the lab nicknamed it the Reacher. Reacher? What? It, it's got long arms, claws, what? No, it's just... fast. We've clocked it moving 40 miles an hour. 40? Jesus. And yeah, it's strong. Maybe you should... <laughs> I don't know. How with that? I'm not aborting anything. This isn't your fight! It is now. I'll send John out. Come on, you son of a bitch. Damn it! Well, I gotta find a way to slow it down. I gotta slow it down. Explosives? That ought to do it. O'Brien, oh, I got your samples. Hey, John! Get out of there! What? Get out of there now! There's a horde coming! You gotta be kidding me! Shit, they're getting close. Yeah, it's time to finish these guys off. Guess you won't be needing this. Huh! 
They're getting close. Yeah, it's time to finish these guys off. Jesus, O'Brien. You made it out. Yeah, I made it out, no thanks to you. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Four men died from this shit. Hope it was worth it. Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. Fly around in your helo well above the shit, and you crawl back into what? Cozy underground bunker, whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't have to what it to shit. survive. Oh, you know those men, Cooper. The others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did, didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted up. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. <laughs> <laughs> 